Let's talk about what happens when we replace a valve. We can break that down into two things also, because there's two basic types of valves that we use to replace a human valve. One is a tissue valve, and the other is a mechanical valve. A mechanical valve is just that. It's made out of a manufactured substance with mechanically moving parts. Uh, the most common type is what we call a bileaflet valve, where the leaflets will turn like this to open and close. But there are other styles also. A tissue valve actually comes from animal tissue. And it can be an actual valve out of a pig heart, or it can be one that we've made from the tissue that surrounds the pig's heart, the pericardium. Either way, tissue valves are similar and mechanical valves are similar. What are the differences between them? The classic teaching is a mechanical valve will last forever, but you have to be on anticoagulation for it. A tissue valve will wear out over time, but you don't need to be on any blood thinners for it. I'll tell you those distinctions are blurring considerably. And if we look over time at the differences, the complication rates of having a valve, a tissue valve and a mechanical valve over 20 years, very similar. The reintervention rate, having to go in and do something to the valve, very similar between the two. So that's a discussion for a patient to have with their doctor, but those are the general differences between the two. Now, final issue on that. How do we put a valve in? The principles of repair and replacement stay the same whether you access that valve through a median sternotomy, which is an incision through the breastbone, a small incision between the ribs over on the side, which some people might call port access, whether you use port access and you use a robot to help you throw the stitches. Those are all matters of access, not matters of repair or replacement. So don't confuse those two things. And you may have heard a lot about TAVR, a valve on a stick, or a valve on a catheter. And that is a newer technique that is growing. It is available now and pretty well worked out for the aortic valve and will be coming in the future for the mitral valve. Not everyone is best served by a valve on a catheter. And just because we can do it for someone doesn't mean that's the best treatment for them. So those are individualized decisions to be made between a patient and their doctor as they discuss their particular disease and their particular treatment.